Back here in the nation, the Korean government has finalized its plan to revise the country's tax code. It could take effect starting next year. It hopes the adjustment help underscore the government's vision of promoting fairness, job creation, and wealth distribution. Kim ji -yeon give us the details. The Ministry of Strategy and Finance laid out plans Monday to revise the country's tax code. It identified three main goals for the revision to make taxation fair, to boost innovative growth and job creation, and to support those in the low income bracket. To improve income distribution and narrow the gap between the rich and poor, the ministry says it'll expand the number of beneficiaries of the Earned Income Tax Credit Scheme, which refunds taxes to low income families. It'll expand eligibility for the credit from the current lower 50 percent of income earners to the bottom 70 percent. It also says it'll expand payments to low-income households raising children. The amount provided will be raised from the current maximum of 447 U.S. dollars a month per child to $625. Also, reporting of offshore property investments will be tightened to prevent tax evasion. For innovative growth, the ministry says it will provide corporate and income tax breaks for up to three years to companies that invest or open businesses in regions hit hard by corporate restructuring. It also says it will extend tax benefits for research and development in new technologies such as blockchain and quantum computing and for companies that hire young people aged 15 to 34. To promote eco-friendly energy usage, the ministry says it will raise taxes on entities that rely on coal. At the same time, it will lessen the burden for those using more expensive liquefied natural gas. The ministry also says it'll improve tax incentives for duty-free related businesses, scrap a corporate income tax break for foreign investment, and cut the penalty on delayed tax payments. Kim Ji-yeon, Arirang News.